Hello, hi there everybody on this lovely Sunday evening. Hope you are well and I hope you've had an amazing and amazing weekend. So first of all, two weeks yesterday is uh, my seventh Women in Business conference which is taking place in London. Um, I know I'm, I'm interviewing Kelly K. Walker who's based in the States in Utah. However, she's coming over and um, she's one of the keynote speakers at my seventh, yes, seventh Women in Business conference in London on Saturday, the 23rd of November in London. We're going to have 22 speakers providing so much value to everybody on the day. Now, Kelly's one of the, I think, three or four speakers that's um, flying over from the States. It's going to be providing you with so much value. At this event, why should you come to this event? Well, one, you're going to get 22 different expert speakers providing you with tremendous value. Two, it's an all-day event where you're going to be educating your mind both personally and professionally as well. And it's absolutely free to attend. Absolutely free to attend as well. You're going to be um, hearing from speakers that's going to help you to get free leads using Facebook, LinkedIn, how to get quality leads effectively and professionally using Facebook Live and also how to get how to start up your own business how to get leads from your business how to speak on stage how to use social media how to um, understand how your mindset works and how it can help you get more leads and be a success have a successful business and so much more so um, it's going to be an amazing day and I'm pleased to say that Kelly K. Walker um, is going to be coming from all the way from Utah. Is going to be coming along to this amazing event and I'm really pleased to be able to bring her over here to speak uh, in the UK, in London for the first time. Now to book your free ticket to attend this an amazing event, just go to www.desoconnors.com which is also on the top of the, um, the intro of this live as well. So without further ado, let's bring on the Queen of Manifesting. That's what her title is. That's what she's called. So the Queen of Manifesting, that's what she's, her brand is, what, that's what she calls herself. So I'm going to leave it up to the amazing Kelly to come on board and just let everybody know who that she is. And for some reason, it's not allowing me to bring her on for some reason. What's going on here? Um, there we go. Got old Facebook Live. So fingers crossed she's going to be coming on any second now. And her on the lovely Kelly K Walker. And here she is. <laughs> Kelly, how are you doing? <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I'm so good, thank you. Uh, lovely to have you on this live, and I'm so excited that you're coming over. You're going to be speaking in London. Look at look at the excitement in her face, everybody, <laughs> from all the way from the States as well. So, oh my God. So, uh, how you been anyway? How's your day? What's the, what's the time over there now? About one o'clock? Yes. Middle of the day. Beautiful what? sunny day out here. You're joking. It's sunny. Sunny. Wow. <laughs> this is natural light. It is very bright outside. I have the wow. blinds closed. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm so jealous. It's quarter past <laughs> eight. It's just about quarter past eight now over here in the oh, UK. No. And it's been cold. It's been raining. So, yeah. you know, bring your woolly hat and your thermals when you come over. You know, keep, yourself warm. <laughs> keep yourself I'm warm. I'm prepared. Thank you so much. <laughs> so before we, we start getting into this interview with you, let me just acknowledge some of the people that are on the live. We've got uh, Desi Taraj. Hi, Desi. She's coming from, I think, New York as well. Oh. She's going to be coming over as well. She's on the live. Exciting. Hi, Desi. Thanks for coming along. We've got Alison Hope. Hi, Alison. Thanks for coming along. And Aliva Jala. North, who's coming along to on this live as well. Hi there, ladies. If you just please do me a favor and share this live. And anybody that's um, on Kelly's wall um, from the States, please share it as well, because there's going to be people that you're going to have friends and connections yeah. that will know people that are going to be in London that may not be aware of this amazing event. So, Kelly, right. yes, tell us, tell us who you are, who you are. You're the queen of manifesting come on us tell us all tell us all about that hold on we just got chloe hi chloe thanks for coming along to this live 
and Lankford Morton. Thank you so much, guys, for coming along to this live. If you want to come to this free event that we're going to be promoting, um, it's in two weeks' time. Just go to desoconnors.com and book your free ticket. It's going to be amazing. Sorry, over to you, Kelly. Who's queen of manifesting? Tell us who you are, please. <sighs> okay, well, I am obviously into manifesting, and I have manifested so many things in my life people started calling me the queen of manifesting. So I was like, oh, I really like that title. <laughs> so I adopted it and wow. I, made it, I made it the name of my company, my podcast, my website. Everything is the queen of manifesting. So I'm really easy to find, of which course. is good. So you just Google um, Liverpool Football Club then, not queen of manifesting. <laughs> <laughs> We no. won. To, I'm happy because we won today. By the way, this is a. It's a oh, good job! We, yeah, we won. We won. Yay. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's a good thing. <laughs> so wow! So you branded. You, that's where you are. You're branded. So talk us through some of the, the things that you you manifested leading up to being given this amazing title. <laughs> oh, okay. So oh gosh, so many awesome things. Probably the the weirdest thing that I've manifested up until now was that I used to need like 10 hours of sleep a night always wow. and if I didn't get it I was just wiped out and so I would sleep really late in the morning until it was time to like leave I'd be like oh crap and I'd get up and go so I as I started to become a speaker and have my own businesses I was like okay you need some more time in your day Kelly so it's time to start getting up earlier <laughs> so I manifested literally a need for less sleep, which I didn't know would work, but oh my gosh, it worked really fast. So wow. I started saying every day that I wake up at 4.30 or earlier every morning, refreshed and ready to go. And it took about a month and I wake up every day now at 3.30, not 4.30, because I said, or earlier. It took it very literally. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But it's great, and I'm never tired, and I, I'm amazed at the power of manifesting. So that's probably the weirdest thing I've manifested, is a complete change in my sleep schedule. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's amazing. I, it's, it's interesting because sometimes, and I have done this before in the past, and I'm not sure if, I'm sure some of you have as well that are on the, on the live, I sometimes say, I want to wake up at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, and mm -hmm. I wake up at 7 on the dot. Yes, you do. It has happened. It has, yes. it has happened. And sometimes I played with it and said 6.30. And it has uh -huh. been 6.30. It has been. <laughs> but the thing is, you, That's you, awesome. you don't want to share it with somebody because I don't think you're crazy. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Cause, but it's, it's real. You it's, trained it's, your subconscious to obey you perfectly in the morning. And it did it. Wow. That's it's amazing. amazing. So be before, before we get on. By the way, everybody, this is true stuff. This is not some crazy. Cryptic, oh, yeah cult stuff going on here this is all good scientifically stuff. based right so we've got tony brace hi tony thanks for coming along to the live um sam diamond hi sam she says <gasps> kelly k walker rocks hi uh thanks Aww, for coming thanks, along sam. Petrolina, hi Petrolina. thanks for coming along to the live christina badillo badillo thanks christina and desi taraj as well those of you that are on this live if you can please share it we have an amazing event in two weeks' time, and Kelly's going to come over. It's in the UK. She's coming all the way from Utah in the States to deliver an amazing presentation, and I cannot wait for that. So what else? What else did you manifest? Give us another one. Uh, well, you know, one thing that I hear a lot of people manifesting just naturally is a front row parking space. <laughs> have you heard of that? They're like, yeah. okay, when I pull into this parking lot, there's going to be a space on the front row for me. And that has really worked. And I, I never tried that before until I learned about manifesting. And now that works too. But like, to me, that's really minor. So big things is I really wanted to be in this program that was not available to me at the time for many reasons. And so I started manifesting it. And in about two months, I was able to get in it. And that was a miracle. Because wow. that, was, that was highly, highly, highly impossible. So, and then I got some amazing speaker training and life coach training. And, you know, it, it basically launched my career. 
So that was a really awesome thing to manifest. That's amazing. Wow. 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 Thanks. Wow. Desi says me too. So she managed, she does that as well. The parking so, spot. I know that. Um, I think the, uh, oh, the waking up. Yeah. We don't need an alarm. Just contact me or Kelly and we tell you what you need right. to do. <laughs> That's, that's or Desi. Yeah. <laughs> or Desi as well. Oh, yeah, Desi. Come and see Desi speak as well. So, so for people who aren't familiar with manifesting, can you explain yeah. what that means? Because we're not crazy. We're not mad. We're just, right. it's, we're just being real. But Kelly can explain right. that. Well, there is literally a science behind it. And so what's happening is that your subconscious only looks for things that prove you right or keep you alive. Because it, it wants you to be comfortable and happy and think, oh, yeah, I'm smart. I've got it going on. And it wants you to stay alive. So the trick to manifesting is simply to give your subconscious mind a new script to believe. So if you give it the script that you are going to wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, oh. it'll say, oh, really? <laughs> okay. And it will play along with you. And it will wake you up at 6, 6 a.m. Yeah. But you can use this on anything. I mean, if it's within the realm of physical <laughs> possibilities, you can manifest anything. You can't like suddenly sprout rings or something, but it's it amazing what you can do. Wow. Wow. We're going to come. I'm going to come back to that. We've got Tina Walker on the live. Hi, Tina. Thanks for coming Thank along. Know. And we've got Sam, Sammy. Hi, Sam. Thanks for coming along to the live. This is to promote um, my up and coming seventh Women in Business Conference, which is taking place two weeks yesterday on Saturday, Yay. the 23rd of November in central London at the Holiday Inn Regents Park. The nearest station is Great Portland Street. We have 22 speakers. It's going to be providing you with tremendous value. So if you're a parent and you want to bring your teenage child along, I think about over for that type of event for them to absorb it i say over 13 would be a good age to come yeah and you're going to provide so much value there's going to be a couple of hundred people there 22 speakers providing you with everything you need to know about business social media setting up getting free leads making money online <gasps> the whole shabam and kelly yes. kelly is coming all the way from utah in america to come over and she's going to give us an amazing presentation about manifesting and so much more so right. what made you want to teach people to manifest their goals then, Kelly? Well, it's because I used to feel like I could never reach my goals. I felt trapped. I felt stuck with what I had. Mm. And like there was no, never any hope that I, I would get better or that I would level up. And so when I finally figured it out, I learned about manifesting. I started experimenting like with the waking up at 4.30. Yeah. And as I started to see that it actually worked, I was, I was so amazed. And I, like, you wouldn't even recognize me from like three years ago. I am so different now. Mm. So I, I really want to teach other people how to do this because I feel like my mission in life is to help people get out of their own self-imposed bondage. You know, sometimes you feel imprisoned by your limiting beliefs mm. and by this, this cap that you have on your goals, your money goals, your health goals, and you just can't get past it. And so you feel imprisoned by it. So that my mission is to break everybody free of prison, get out of that self-imposed bondage. It's all in your head. Yeah. And, yeah. and literally reach those goals that you set instead of setting them and feeling, setting them and feeling over and over again. And it's true because even, I think it's even more powerful when you, I mean, you most probably can agree to this, when you actually write it down, if you get a journal oh, and you yes. start writing it down. I've been writing down some things and they've just been, they've been manifesting, they've been coming up to the point uh -huh. I'm like, I'm starting to play with them, start playing with certain things just to, just to yes. test, just to test. Just it, to experiment. See. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's, it's fun when it happens, who do you tell? <laughs> Without sounding crazy? I know, who you, you can tell me, Jess. I know, thank you. you. <laughs> You'll get it. You're the most funny person I've Kelly, guess what? Yeah. Right. I'll have to join a, a manifesting group or meet up in London somewhere and just, they'll get it. Oh, that's a great idea. I couldn't tell this to some of my friends and my family. I, think, I mean, some of them think I'm crazy anyway. <laughs> 
all these <laughs> seminars and I'm doing all these seminars and people right. in my family think I'm a, a lifeguard, not a life coach. But that's another story. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so hello, hello Kelly Boswell. Thanks for coming along to this live as well. Those of you that are on this live, please do me a favour, share it. Just share it to your connections, especially if you're in London, because I'm guaranteed that some of your friends will be very interested in this topic about how you can manifest what you want in your life. And also, they may want to attend this amazing event that I'm holding uh, two weeks yesterday in London um, on Saturday the 23rd. And Kelly is going to be providing some amazing tips in there as well. So what's the, one of the first things you manifested when you was learning the process yourself? I know you said about um, the sleeping in the car park. What about something, <laughs> pers something personal? Did you, manifest, did you manifest your husband? <laughs> no, I no. already... I already, found, had, oh, him. Found you, okay. I already had him. Yeah. <laughs> um, I manifested a sixty-pound weight loss. Oh wow! That was really big. How, yeah. was, for those that, for those that would like to know how to lose sixty pounds or lose some weight, tell us how you yes. did that. Well, I uh, I have a whole manifesting formula that I apply to whatever I want to manifest. So. Part of the formula is a declaration that you say out loud every day. And so yeah. in, in my declaration, I said, my body is 100% healthy and whole, and I quickly and easily replace anything extra stored on or in it with love and gratitude. Wow. And, and I said that every day along with, you know, I was doing all the healthy habits because I was saying out loud every day that I was doing this. Mm. So my body was like, oh, okay, well, I guess if that's what we're doing, that's what we're doing. And so it started cooperating with me more. And, you know, cravings went away. Mm. My desire to work out got higher. And of course, yeah. everything just got easier because I convinced my subconscious that that's what we were doing now. <laughs> so wow. it was amazing. Yeah. That's fantastic. So I hear that, everybody. That's what you need to do. Hi, Lucy and yeah. Mr. Flolova. If I got that correct. Hi, Lucy. Thanks for coming along to that live. Yeah, that is that is quite powerful. So let me ask yeah. you then, when you, let's say you want to, um, somebody out there wants to have the ideal home, okay? They want their big yes. house, that they want to have their big house and want to have their family and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff in that house. Would, yes. you, would you say, I want to get that house if you're manifesting it or you say, I am living in that house? Yes. You would get pictures of it so that you could see it with your eyes. Yeah. You would say it out loud. I, I would start with gratitude. I am so grateful to live in this beautiful house wow. that has dot, 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 whatever it's got that you want. Mm. Say it out loud every day, all the features that you love about it, how you feel when you get up in the morning and you see yourself in this gorgeous bedroom and all of the awesome feelings you're going to get living in that house, that's what you focus on. And you say it out loud every day. Wow. Everybody hear that? So anything that yes. you want, whether it's, whether it's the car, whether it's the relationship, whether it's, well, any Arsenal fans watching this, you can't, you're not going to manifest anything for a long while. Arsenal's like a football team in London, that crap. So we don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so that's, that's, that's really, really, really great to know. So, what do you see as one of the, big, the biggest obstacles for manifesting for most people, would you say then? Because people are going to try this. It's like a, a New Year's resolution, isn't it? They start it in January yeah. and then come right. the end of January, they stop. And the number one that you usually do is the gym, choose to lose weight. And then, yes. you know, you go to the gym in January and, every, you know, you, it's just packed. Right. Start going in February, March, it sort of filters out. Because all those right. people have just lost, lost the, the, the desire to <laughs> right. continue going. But what, what, what would be, that's, another, that's an example, I suppose, isn't it? That's perfect. Perfect example. That, so the thing I see the most with my clients, because I actually coach people on manifesting specific things, is that they don't do their action steps. They Go stop on. doing their action steps. So in the manifesting process, it is a six-step formula. And most people end up skipping the last step. Right. Because they, it's something uncomfortable, or it's something new, or it's something that requires discipline, and that's where they get the disconnect. So that's the most often thing I see is they wow. don't 
follow through with the big action step every day. Wow. You got to wow. do the action step. And I, I know that you teach them that. So you make, you make them accountable when they work with you, I suppose, to make sure. Oh, yes. We have lots of accountability checks. <laughs> we also have a daily accountability phone calls in the morning. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And weekly accountability checks where they have to send me a picture of their charts and whether they checked off eat their steps each day. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Whoops. Ooh. Nearly, nearly. Sorry. <laughs> you didn't manifest uh -oh. that. You didn't manifest that one, I did slipped. you? Did you manifest that you're going to drop your phone? Apparently. <laughs> but now I fl I'm flipped. Oh, you're. Oh, silly phone. There you go. You're there. Just stay still there. Don't move. Am don't... I good? Yeah, don't even move. Don't even talk. <laughs> Just manifest that your phone will stay landscape from now on. It will. It's because I caught my I caught my cord. I know. You you're, talk, you're like me. You talk with your hands sometimes. I'm a big I do. Guy. I'm like. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So you've got Joan Carl that's just come on. Hi, Christy Prince. Hello. And thanks for coming along. Darren, Bucky Lewis, how are you doing? Darren, thanks for coming along to the live as well. This is to promote um, my up and coming seventh business in biz, women in business conference. Men are not men are not excluded to attend. It's taking place. Uh, no, it's not one of those ones. Um, it's taking place on um, Saturday, the twenty third of November. Two weeks yesterday at the Holiday Inn, Regents Park. If you want a free ticket worth five hundred ninety seven pounds, which is about eight hundred dollars, um, then you need to go wow. to www.desoconnors.com to book your free ticket and if you want awesome. to upgrade to vip to have lunch with me and get loads of bonuses and find out how you can speak abroad and all these other stuff then you need to you can upgrade to vip if you want which is going to be awesome so where can pete so you well you do retreats as well don't you i do cruise retreats cruise retreats so tell, tell us about that so those of you that are interested if you want to come on to to some of Kelly's um, um, retreats, which she's been, yes. we've been talking about that because you want me to come along and do some stuff and come along. So we, we're going to yes. talk about that soon. So tell us about that. Because you do different so, ones, different I do. ones all over the world. And tell us, tell us. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so March, I have one in March, although the deadline is next week. So that one's, there's a short window, but I still have some cabins open. And it's all manifesting. And a few other awesome, um, personal development topics like the connection between your emotions and your physical symptoms and laughter therapy. That's going to be super fun. Wow. And we're going to have a pamper night where everybody gets like pampering. Uh, it's going to be amazing. And that one sails out of Miami, Florida. And we go to Cozumel and Jamaica and Grand Cayman. So that's going to be so fun. All my cruises are seven nights, and they're all on Royal Caribbean. They all leave from the states, either from Miami or Texas, down on the coast, Galveston, Texas. Wow. Um, and then August, I have a speaker training cruise where you get to learn how to up-level your speaking skills. And so I have several more planned, yeah. but those are my two current fantastic, ones. Fantastic, fantastic. And yeah brilliant I'm, I'm, we're going to talk about that because i want to be involved with some of yes. those as well that's going to be you're awesome. coming in august <laughs> you are coming in august i've been told she hasn't asked me <laughs> see she's manifested no. that des is coming to... i manifested you on my crew <laughs> <laughs> it'd be a pleasure for me to come to come there as well so listen um thank you so much for your time i know you're busy you're and you're all the way in the state it's been an amazing interview Thanks. and talking about the manifestation i'm looking forward to you coming over and speaking in the uk Thank for the you. first time you must be excited, so excited. Get, get excited enough. that's an excited woman that is so how can <laughs> how can people get hold of you kelly please my website is the easiest way it's the queen of manifesting.com so easy simple as that and there there's a uh, there's a thing for the March cruise that you can register and there's a contact me form. It's, and my email is easy. It's just Kelly at the queen of manifesting.com. So fantastic. And they can get way. you on link. They can get you on LinkedIn, Facebook. Yes. 
Yes. Yes and yes. Fantastic. Just look up the Queen of Manifesting and I'll show up on anything I'm on. If my podcast is also the Queen of Manifesting. So. Brilliant. So you've got that, you've got the, the brand. I've got that nailed down. <laughs> no one can't take It's all you. Fantastic. No one can have it. <laughs> no one can't have that at all. Listen, Kelly, it's been absolutely amazing. Thank you. Can you please put your link, can you put your website link yes. in the chat for us, please? Absolutely. And um, I look forward to meeting you in a few weeks as well. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> and you may be coming back in June, possibly. Possibly. Yes. We're, we um I'm having my annual women in business conference in June. Um so that would may, be amazing. We'll hopefully get you back over for that as well. Yes. So, so yeah. everybody that's come on. Um Ahmed Khan, thanks Ahmed for coming along. Can you just share this live? We're coming up to the end of it now. Um thank you everybody for coming along and thank you, Kelly, for your time You're today. Welcome. Those of you that have missed Mom. coming to the end, just watch the replay and connect yeah. with Kelly because she's gonna come over here and rock in two weeks. Mm -hmm. thank you so much thank you thanks very much Kelly and everybody else thanks have a fantastic week this week and I look forward to seeing you all in two weeks take care and thanks a lot take care Kelly bye bye thank you thank you bye bye